Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can access audit log in Microsoft 365. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, as your users collaborate uh, on, let's say, documents in SharePoint, and they maybe share them internally, externally, and uh, download and delete them, sometimes you probably just want to know and track activities of your users or maybe a certain employee. Luckily, there is a way to do it. Uh, and uh, there is a capability available within the Compliance Center, something called Audit. And you can actually um, pretty much uh, trace um, the activities of your employees through this functionality. Obviously, you have uh, to um, you know, be the uh, admin of, of your portal to access this capability. But let me show you how to access and run those uh, audit reports. So you would click on the nine dots. We need to go to the compliance admin center over here. And uh, obviously, this is where you can, uh, you know, create retention policies, you know, retention labels and so on. Uh, but the feature we're going to click on uh, is audit. And by the way, if you have never run audit reports in your environment, the very first time you access this feature, you have to enable it. Obviously, I already have done that. Uh, but, you know, the very first time uh, when you access the screen, you must enable this feature. Uh, and from that point on, essentially, it will track all the activities. Uh, but this is um, this are kind of the filters where you can uh, pretty much, um, uh, you know, uh, choose the activities and uh, type in the username, uh, maybe, um, you know, uh, have a range of dates uh, that you are searching and so on. So let me show you how that works. Uh, essentially, let's just say I want to see uh, maybe uh, all the activities from this date up until this date. And uh, this is one of the most important kind of uh, drop down fields. This is where you can actually check all the different check of all the different activities that have occurred. And these are all pretty much self-explanatory. As you can see, for example, on the files, uh, I want to see maybe when somebody accessed the file. Uh, in my case, you know, um, you can choose download or delete. So let's just maybe uh, choose this download option. All right. So I want to uh, actually check whether or not the files were downloaded. So I'm going to check for that activity. Uh, you can actually specify the user. If you don't, it will obviously uh, uh, you know, uh, pretty much create a summary for all the employees. But in my case, I'm going to uh, pretty much um, type in my name. Let me do that. Here we go. Just like that. And you can be more specific, um, you know, over here by even designating a certain site or folder where you're searching. But let's le le let's leave it alone. All right. And all you need to do here is just click that search box. And once you do that, uh, the report will be queued. Now, it, is, it does take some time uh, for the report to be ready for you because obviously it's aggregating all this information. So it might uh, take uh, several minutes, uh, maybe a few hours for the report to be available. Obviously, I don't want uh, for you to sit here and wait for that. So what I did, I actually already ran uh, a similar kind of report on file access uh, you know, activity. And essentially, once completed, it will just uh, say completed over here. So let's click. Let's access that old report of mine. And essentially, this is what it looks like um, when uh, when the report is uh, you know ready for you. You, as you can see, uh, essentially it pretty much uh, outputs in this table, you know, type format the all the different activities that are available uh, from that audit. Now, one other thing you can also do is actually export the report uh, to Excel. Uh, if you maybe want to uh, format it and work with data in Excel, uh, I have already done that because once again, this activity does take some time. Uh, but once uh, the report is exported, essentially you will see this prompt. And uh, let me show you what it looks like. Essentially, it just downloads a CSV file. And now you have plenty of data to work with uh, in Excel, essentially for the same uh, data that you generated uh, on the report uh, in the uh, on the audit screen. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this video. It's a nice uh, little feature available to uh, the admins uh, within your environment. Uh, and if you maybe need to check 
certain employees for certain activities, you do have the functionality available uh, within Microsoft 365. So thanks again for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.